LAPD SWAT officer caught saying, in quotes, happy hunting on body cam before fatal police shooting. (gasps) The police are killing people and happy about it? They're like, let's go have some fun today. Similarly to during the George Floyd protests where I think it was the Minneapolis, I don't remember which police department was, but they, in a similar way, uh, were, you know, cheering each other on, hunting citizens of the United States, the people that pay taxes, that fund their paychecks. They are joyful in going out to murder, to slaughter innocent humans. LAPD chief... Michael Moore said the officer has been removed from the field pending an outcome of investigation. He should be in prison. He should have been arrested. Fucking Michael Moore, the chief, should be charged. Should be charged with conspiracy to commit murder. All of these people who are in charge of all of these police departments, every time a police officer gets found out that he is knowingly participating in first-degree murder, should be held accountable. But not even the police officers who are physically pulling the trigger, ending human life, slaughtering humans, are, are held accountable for their actions. And not only that, they get to go on a little unpaid vacation. They get to use some of their sick time. Or I guess no, no sick time. They're just, you know, probably collecting unemployment benefits. Or unions. They, they're probably getting collecting a paycheck from their unions since police unions are so gigantic. Police budgets have only increased. This is how we punish the police in this country. Oh, you're slaughtering your citizens? Oh, you're brutalizing, you're terrorizing your citizens? Guess what? Raises! Go buy tanks, go buy body armor, go buy a bunch of gas to gas the people. We can't use it in war, so you might as well use it on your own citizens. See, it's bump up those budgets. Oh, you're playing Pokemon Go instead of stopping crime? That's okay. You got found out. Put out your hand. Oh, that's see that slap? No, bad, bad. How dare you get caught playing Pokemon Go? I'm not telling you not to play Pokemon Go. I'm just angry that you got caught playing Pokemon Go. But don't worry. You're not going anywhere. We're going to investigate internally. I don't know if anybody else has ever worked in a company that's done their own internal internal investigations i spent 13 years working at costco that did all kinds of internal investigations for like sexual abuse for like constant injuries that happen in the warehouse and guess what happens nothing nothing internal investigations mean we're going to figure out a way to where nobody takes responsibility and we can keep just doing business as normal We're going to find out the people that leaked this information, and we're going to try and tighten those screws a little bit. We're not going to fix the problem. We're just going to try and make sure the problem doesn't get found out by other people. Right? We want to keep this in-house. And for anybody who supports one of the most openly corrupt police departments in the L.A., the LAPD, Google LASD gangs. Google Los Angeles Sheriff's Department gangs and come and tell me how they're there to serve and protect. Fucking disgusting. Police are terrorist organizations. You look at how many police have killed children, have killed innocent children. How many children die from police slaughtering them? And then you look at this white supremacist terrorist in Buffalo, targeting specifically black people, racially motivated domestic terrorist attack, and what do the police do? Oh, so much respect. 
but a black person selling loose cigarettes? No. Nope. We take your life. The value of your... Oh, we have a no-knock warrant? Oh, we got the wrong house. Sorry, Breonna Taylor. But white supremacist domestic terrorists... Oh, we, we're going to make sure we get this guy alive. Oh, you're hungry? Oh, let's go to the fast food. Oh, your mom drove you to, to go slaughter protesters? Your mom drove you across state lines with an assault rifle? Uh, oh, but it was self-defense? Okay, high five, kid. Don't worry, you're going to be the new, you're going to be the new celebrity of the Republican Party. This is the world we're living in. And what happens? These worthless terrorist groups, these terrorist organizations, LAPD, NYPD, Minneapolis Police Department, Baltimore Police Department, all these police departments across the country just getting budget increases. And somehow convincing Republicans that they like that they've actually been defunded, like any police department has actually ever been defunded. You see a few cities that actually are experimenting, like Denver experimenting with sending uh, public, like uh, mental health experts to situations and how unnecessary police are most of the time. Not that police... I mean, look and see how, how uh, like, like productive police are. How many crimes do they stop? How many, how many people get arrested? How many investigations lead to an arrest? They are horrible at their job they are horrible at the job that they are hired to do they are horrible at the jobs that their budgets are there to provide and then look at how just effortlessly they slaughter innocent americans it is it, it, it's disgusting it's disgusting a whole department like from their Chief Michael Moore, on down. Every one of them. Conspiracy to commit murder. Throw them in jail. Throw them in prison. Fucking throw all these cops. Send them all to Guantanamo Bay. Treat these police officers like we've treated just whoever we feel is a potential brown terrorist. Because these people are the terrorists. Far more Americans are dying because of the police department than any foreign terrorist ever could dream of. Bin Laden would have a wet dream if he was able to be as effective at killing Americans as police are. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com and follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.